wahoo on double floppers and real guns. <laughs> Three years after coming here and not knowing a thing about spearfishing. Seriously. I'm out here with the Angelus brothers and cousins. I got Nick DeAngelis, John DeAngelis, Tony DeAngelis, Judah Clark. We're headed out in Isle of Arana. Four to five foot seas to go spear fishing. So we had a boat, boom. experience got the sailfish got the wahoo headed back in and the next day was my birthday but my boat was broke so I called them up struck a deal with them they let me keep the boat overnight which is really cool of those guys but I didn't really like the rental boat because I didn't have my Seymour maps on there you know this boat is just rigged up for everything that we need like I wanted my boat shit I don't think you guys figured out the problem. They just left for the day with the key still in the ignition. That sucked. So they didn't say anything, they just left? So Aaron, I said, did the guys fix the boat? And she said, no, they actually said they couldn't figure it out and they just left. They just left. And I'm like, they just left. They didn't say anything? No, they just left I'm like oh man I spoke to one of them about half an hour before I think they left and he was just like yeah we can't figure it out but maybe they did and they didn't tell me guys probably had enough sense to check every fuse throughout the whole boat again because I kind of feel like going through and checking some more and making sure I'm not missing a fuse but uh, I'm all bummed out and I call the guy hey Judah good man how you doing No. No, it's never sank. I had it rewired though, why? He's like, your boat ever sank? I'm like, sank? No. I have had to uh, replace that harness before. Um, no, it's never sank. What, getting salt water getting up in there would do that? Boat oh, hasn't sank? It's like, cause there is like water in all the connectors inside the motor. And apparently, you know, I, I broke this gasket and water was flooding in on top of the one of the gaskets and so a lot of water got in there like a couple of months ago and that actually probably was pretty bad. You're pretty confident you're gonna fix it tomorrow? Cause I got this rental boat and uh, I'd like to return it. Like if I know you're gonna fix it, I'll just return that shit and wait for you to fix it. We can wait. That's cool. All right, yeah, we'll see you in the morning, man. Thank you. Hey, good news. What? I called him and he answered. I'm over here pouting, having a drink. I call him up and he's like, well, first off, he goes, does that boat ever sank? I'm like, what? But he says he's going to be able to fix it in the morning by doing some rigging. But I think we ought to return the rental boat, wait for these guys to fix it, have a casual morning. As soon as they fix it, ride out. Turn the rental boat 
Hopefully we get our boat fixed. Well, taking a chance hoping that the guys whom I haven't even met are gonna be able to fix the boat. But even though it's been challenging, the times that we've been able to get out on the water have been pretty spectacular. I mean, we've been eating fish fresh caught wahoo like locals the entire time because the first trip out first hour shoot a wahoo bring it in and so i really don't have a lot to complain about we got two more days here in isla barata at this beautiful house so it gets fixed earlier today we're going out till dark oh it's my birthday today 35 years old Leap boat rental, save the day. Victoria's down there watching the guys, making sure they're doing the repairs properly. While they were working on it in the morning, the girls made me a really, really nice birthday breakfast and we had a very casual start to the day. By the way, I was thinking, should I ever die in the filming of like any of these adventures? Mm -hmm. I want that to be in the video. Like I want the show to go on. Like I want that to be the last video, the last video that I appear alive, but mm -hmm. then the show keeps going back on the past. So you do, you, do you want your, your death? I want my death to be on the film. Okay. Like I want to like, like if I drowned or whatever or something. Like Steve Irwin, he got hit by the- Stingray? The stingray yeah. in the heart. And they got the footage and they didn't do anything with it. Mm -hmm. Like, I, but I want I want Aaron to edit an epic video though. Not just like, oh okay. there he is, he's dead. <laughs> I mean like, Literally a whole story, like an hour long, two hour long story that all like has some kind of twist and some kind of love story and everything. Mm -hmm. And then he dies. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, you getting this? I'm getting the pain. I'm getting all of it. Unless it's totally embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. no. All right, cut no. the camera. That's all we have. <laughs> they fixed the boat. Oh, shit. Happy Where did you birthday have it? to you. Oh, happy <laughs> birthday to me. Yeah. Yeah, I would have never figured that out. It's <laughs> got some in it, too. Yeah, that's a lot of corrosion in there. Right? And it's kind of like a, a sealed deal. Like, I, I mean, that's why we're like, man, this thing stinks. Yeah, you can, you can see, see how much corrosion's on this thing. You know, the whole motor. It definitely never sank. So he basically rigged it up. Temporary fix. But got us back in action. It's not a permanent fix. It needs a new engine harness is what it needs. Yeah, I actually did that once before. It needs a new engine harness. Yeah. I mean, it had corrosion everywhere from that water leaking. Yeah. But looking at the condition of the motor, you it's saw, had a rough life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I run it really hard. Especially after that that salt water leak on everything, that's what really killed it. Well, man, I appreciate you coming out here and hooking us up, man. We're in the middle of filming the show. We did what we show. could, cause, yeah, we, could, we couldn't get an engine harness. I, real I quick, literally so. called like ten people, and you're the only guy that really could make it here. And you showed up. You showed <laughs> yeah. up on time. What's your name and company? Jeff. Jeff. A one A Mobile Trailer Repair. A one A Mobile Trailer Repair in uh, Isla Mirada, Florida. Saved the day. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. No problem, it. man. Thank you. <laughs> the girls thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Okay, man. Thank, thank you. you. See ya. Back in business. Let's load up. Are we going diving or what? Oh, right away. Hey, high tide is at 12. We really need to be out there like right now. So let's start loading up. <laughs> <laughs>
So day two, and we had some mechanics come to fix the boat. They said that it's temporarily fixed, but the boat needs a new wiring harness. So we're gonna shoot out, try to catch high tide, and hopefully shoot some wahoo later on. So right now I just have to rig a breakaway rig on my 140 raw balance, and that's it. <laughs> Cast off all lines, ladies. What time we get out? Like one? It was like 12 or one. Mm -hmm. 12 or one on the birthday. Finally, 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 back in action. Happy birthday, dear Judah. <laughs> Happy birthday to, to you. <laughs> Woo! That was <laughs> Everything back down. Roll out. It's me, the twins, Lauren. Got Drift and Kimber. Get out there. And I drove the boat all day just so you could get your birthday wahoo. No, oh, that's that's a good <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> Okay, hit mark. So we're doing drifts. I'm setting this up, you know, with my strategy, like I'm the captain. And really, when Killian's around, he's kind of like a guide in a way. I mean, he's the kind of guy that would, would go with my opinion if I was correct, but you know, he usually knows more than me. So I was the captain. And this was my trip. All right, grab your gun. Don't swim towards shit. Just drift. We calculate our drifts very carefully. This is blue water. It's like 170 foot deep. You're not going to see anything until you do. I'm about to get in. But I want them to get in. I'll swim to them. This 
one time, I throw a flasher, this big wahoo comes running in, I go down, I line up, I'm like already licking my fingers with this wahoo. And I miss. Did you see that? Yeah, it was good. How did I miss that? <laughs> Like, oh man, missed my birthday, who? It didn't even swing away like that fast after you hit him. <sighs> I was a little disappointed in that, especially after I just told you girls over and over again, don't shoot at the who's, don't miss the who's. Do not take stupid shots at Wahoo. Do not take stupid shots at Wahoo. Do not take stupid shots at Wahoo. But I messed up the shot. Shot in a Who took the stupid shot? That wasn't a stupid shot. I mean, I was close enough to hit him. I was totally in range, perfect. I should have hit him. Yeah, I threw a flasher down. He's coming down, he came in on the flasher, and he came right under me. I saw him like, oh, he did? Yeah, he was right under me. You were over there. So I went straight down, right on top of him. Like, oh, I got a Wahoo today! Miss! <laughs> oh, that's a good sign. We're gonna get a Wahoo today. But then I shot this kingfish. Kingfish, Kimber. <laughs> Pretty fish. Only thing that sucks is my camera was dead. I was literally wanting the, uh, to comp so I could get a new camera and reset the drift. And then I saw him down there, I was like, oh, nobody else saw him. So I was like, guess I'll go shoot a fish off film. Victoria! <laughs> so we set up on this drift. As soon as I jump in, I see Lauren making a beeline for these fish. I look over it and there's four wahoo. And she's, she's like going after the fish. And I'm like, oh shit. And they just swam off. And I'm like, instinct. I just pull out my flasher, boom, threw it out. Flasher's just sinking down. There's fish everywhere. I'm looking around. Mark! And wouldn't you know, this wahoo comes just firing in. And I couldn't shoot him from the top, so I dived down and spooked him away a little bit. And he came in, came right back to me. And boom, I put a shot in on him on my real gun. With a double flopper, nailed him, and I just put at Formula Free Diamond, I just put a brand new huge reel, like a big boy reel on my gun. I mean like 100 meters line on this gun. It's like oversized for Wahoo. He just starts peeling out line. Just, oh! I look over, I got Victoria and Lauren not paying any attention to me whatsoever. 
Lauren's like diving down. Lauren later said, she goes, yeah, I saw you spook a fish. I'm like, no, that's what it looks like when you shoot a fish and they take off. So I was on my own. I basically came up, made sure Christine knew. I went, whoo, whoo, wahoo. Did you know I had one on? Like I heard you yell something, but I didn't hear you. And then you started swimming fast. So I was like, oh, he probably has a wahoo. Yeah. No, Lauren, I was like, oh, did you see that? There was like four wahoo. And I guess because of her match, she couldn't really see. She was like, those were kingfish. Yeah. Because <laughs> I saw you leaving. I was like, oh, maybe he got one. And then she's like, no, they're just kingfish. <laughs> those were wahoo. Those were beautiful wahoo. And I wish I had the camera on because there were four at the surface and the light was shooting through the surface and it was like yellowish, reddish, gold with blue. It was a beautiful sight. Beautiful, beautiful. My camera wasn't on at the moment. I'm gonna start turning my camera on right when I dive in every time because a lot of things happen. So the pursuit was on. And I was swimming after this fish and so the boat was following me, so I know that uh, Christine had my back, and I followed that fish, and it took like all 100 meters of my line on the real gun, and I even had to link in my belt reel to the gun. It took a lot of that line out too. But the line would just go sliding, flying through my hands, and I'd sort of make some gain some line on it, and then it'd fly through my hands again, and I'd pull on it. And I'm finally making some headway because you don't want to just pull on the fish the whole way because then you can rip it out. So I'm swimming after the line, just grabbing a little bit of the line, a little bit. three sharks. I'm like, oh no, I'm about to get shark and I see this shark come right up. And he literally he could have nailed that wahoo and he didn't. He just like, I'm not that hungry. Maybe he's uh, already eaten or something, but he let me have that for my birthday. He was like, happy birthday, Mr. Clark. Here's your who. And I was there in the water by myself with a big old bloody fish. Woo! Woo! Nice! Christine came and picked me up, and man, was I stoked to have a Wahoo in the boat and a kingfish on my birthday. Woo birthday who's baby! Oh. oh he's a big boy. Oh man. He took a lot of long. Oh this is gonna be a mess. Look at the string. Somebody trying to catch him. Oh man, look how much line I got on my belt reel. And he took all the line. Where's our people? Over there. Good. Great, you did a great job, babe. <laughs> See, I wanted you to be in the water the whole time so you could- Thanks, babe. <laughs> catch one on your birthday. Damn near spilled me on this freaking 100 meters of line. Woo, that was amazing. The camera's all wrapped up. Woo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Birthday who's, <Yeah>. baby? <laughs> yeah! Nice! Did you see me shoot him? No. Oh my god! Oh wait, oh wait, is that the one? I thought you scared it away. No! Well, you scared him away! What are you talking about? There was four of them! You were 
going after four of them. I thought those were kinks. Those were wild. So what happened was I couldn't see. My map had completely fogged and I was like, what the fuck? I was like looking. <laughs> and so I went to the surface and I put my... I, uh, Oh my god, my Lauren, those were, that was the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. A couple of people asked me what I wanted for my birthday. All I wanted was a who! <laughs> yeah! Couldn't ask for a better birthday present. Twins, Lauren, South Shore, Trips, and Camber. Who! And that was really, really, really cool. Second who of the trip. I mean, all these challenges babe, that we had and Still got two who's in the boat. Oh man. I'm so freaking stoked. Oh, what a magical day, man. Lauren saw a beautiful sea turtle. Came right up to her. shot our first triggerfish. Oh yeah, too. and then you shot your first triggerfish ever, free diving. Nice shot. You shot fish on scuba, right? Oh uh, yeah. But not on free diving. No. With your new gun. Mm -hmm. That was cool. What you got there, Victoria? Shot it first, trigger. First fish on the gun. Nice. Nice. Good job. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, who me? Happy birthday, I got a who. It's a happy birthday. It's where I shot him in the back. Kimber is excited because we got a who for dinner tonight. Christine at the helm. Woo! Somebody lost their hook in line. I actually saw a boat over there. Like It looked like they had a fish and then they their line broke. I wonder if that was the Wahoo. What? This is probably is their line. Great? This is somebody's line. Just got waxed. But you know, this trip has been challenging but very rewarding. And that's one of the things I love about diving and fishing is the extreme highs and the lows. Like one day you're just like, you don't catch anything and you're like, oh my God, this is terrible. Like I suck. And the next day you're king of the hill, you know? You catch them up and you're like, yes, this is so great. So I obviously like the highs more than I like the lows, but you know, it's, it's, it goes along with fishing, highs and lows. And there's been quite a bit of highs and lows with this trip, but the success of those Wahoo are like even better after like thinking that you're not gonna have it, thinking that your boat's broken and that you're like, you failed and you've got, you know, all this, this operation and the girls are here and everything and you can't even go out on your boat, you're not gonna shoot any who's like, oh, cause when you're coming down, you're like, I wanna shoot a who. That's like the mission, you're dreaming about that. You're like, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one and like, but you don't know. And, you know, it was cool to succeed. And then, you know, I got out of the water and was taking care of the fish and I let the girls stay in there and give you guys a little less pressure on the fish to maybe have a better opportunity to shoot one. You actually saw one, right, you said I ran right over them. Oh yeah, there was like two of them, but that was towards when you were coming back to uh, Yeah. It was right at sunset. As soon as that sun hit the horizon, I said, let's wrap it up and go uh, so we could get in by dark because we had a nice little ride. Beautiful night tonight. Good day when you gotta bust out the fish bag. 
Yeah. I rigged up my gun at Floor Meal of Free Diving yesterday. Just perfect to land this fish. Had I not done the modifications that I did, I don't know if I would have landed it. So happy to have the boat, thanks. Birthday party. Mr. Kingfish attended. Wahoo. Girls shot some triggers. Bull jacks. Wahoo weighed in at 30 pounds. He was feisty. Somebody might recognize this. Out in Isla Mirada. Somebody might recognize that knot. Birthday. And you girls not only made me a really nice breakfast, but you made me a nice dinner too. Oh, it. oh! You didn't help out with that. Uh, you went to take a shower, and I took over. Literally, you didn't do anything though. Everything just sat in the pants. What? Well, Anyways. listen. Thank you both for <laughs> breakfast and dinner. Uh, whatever part you had in it. A little birthday dinner with the girls. Yeah. Got Aaron in the back there, behind the camera. They're being so nice to each other. <laughs> A toast to Judah. Honestly, one of the best people that I've ever met. Like your heart is so big and you're so genuine and you help so many people around you and I think that your character is amazing and your personality is contagious. And I wish you all of the best, and I'm so happy that you exist, and I'm so happy to be your friend. Oh, thank you. That's Cheers. amazing. Don't start crying, Judah. Oh, Lord, no, I didn't swim in here. But it was nice to sit around and have a nice little Wahoo dinner, taste the victory. And then we sat around the campfire, which the campfire would be really nice right now. That would have been super nice. I feel like I haven't been that happy in a long time. That was like singing. <laughs> But I could see having a place in Miami and having a place in Isla Mirada and having a place in Key West. But I like this concept, you know? You have a house that you, you know, a secondary house that you kind of fix up as your own and then you rent it out to some people that you trust here and there. And it's a cool, it's a cool setup. It's kind of what I want to do in the future. Is that house not cool? Mm -hmm. So we ought to go back there like every year for like two weeks. You know, because that fishing was good. I mean, the Wahoo, it would be nice to go there in the springtime when the weather's a little nicer. But I love that house. I feel like that's like a part of me or something, you know, like especially for like spear fishing. Like, I just remember where I came from when I go there. Like, I remember my guns laid out on that picnic table, like taking a picture, like, well, gonna get started. Like, didn't even have a clue. Roll on my crew. 
the Angeles Brothers. Like, I didn't even know what I was doing when I bought the two guns. Like, at least you girls had me to, like, help out. I literally had no clue. I'm like, this one looks nice. But, yeah, I love that house. And you guys can rent that house, too, if you just go online. Link in the description. And it's a really nice place. Just don't rent it when we want to rent it. Please. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the house has everything that you need. It's got a fire pit outside. Got a jacuzzi that spills over in the pool, right on the water, right in Snake Creek Inlet, where the marina's right there, and then you can shoot right out into the inlet and like be out in the ocean in like two seconds, or the Gulf side, or the ocean side. And there's a place to park your trailer, and we have not only our trailer, but we have our spear fishing and fishing gear trailer, and then the boat trailer in there. There's a boat ramp down the street. You know, it's got three bedrooms, two kitchens, two levels, two separate apartments almost. I love that place. My parents came and visited me last time I was here. And that place is uh, it's cool. Pretty nice. Yeah. So yeah, we're uh, headed down to Key West tomorrow. And so sure to be some epic adventures coming out of there. So thanks for watching. Judah Clark, Fisher Twins, Drift and Kimber. Should we bring the dogs up? Oh yeah, we can bring the dogs up. Just don't put them into the motor like last time. <laughs> 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 she thought she was going to take my spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the family. <laughs> so thanks for watching another episode of Fishing Adventures of Judah Clark, and we'll see you when we see you.